for me, the idea of doing Chekhov and doing Uncle Vanya was inextricably linked to the idea that Heidi would translate it. I said yes right there on the phone. Weird that I can remember, I was walking down Church Avenue, I live in Ditmas Park, and I took the call and she asked me and I was like, absolutely. Which is not usually how I make decisions, I'm a Libra. I usually spend, a, and I was like, clearly I'm meant to do this. I have this long history with Russian plays and lived there and worked as a journalist. I have a long history um, with Lila. I'm in love with Lila's mind and she assistant, assistant directed my first play in New York City in 2008. Um, I could not love her more and I could not love Chekhov more, so. Meeting with uh, with Heidi was uh, really affirmed the fact that I wanted to be a part of this. She's so smart, and I think the way she was envisioning this was so dynamic and current and contemporary. And she just she's somebody that I think anyone would want to team with. I think they'll be shocked by how smart Chekhov really was. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's what this point. they've thought. It's, well, no, it's. Been debatable. <laughs> <laughs> We're working with this astonishing group of human beings who are bringing their full selves to it in every sense, um, with such curiosity and investigative imagination and commitment and enthusiasm. And um, it's just a pleasure to bask in their intellects and their hearts. I was in that position differently with. Um, Raisin for people who had never seen it before and young people and people who had never been to theater before and then to bring Carmen Jones back to New York first time since it was done originally. Um, so I am always excited about the possibility of newness coming to the theater. I'm always excited about young people coming to the theater. I'm playing Waffles. The, I, I actually I played the part in college when I was 19 and knew nothing. I mean, I'm completely new to Chekhov. I'm 18, so like I never even had like a <laughs> drama class where we studied this. The waffles in the original is described as playing the guitar. There's a guitar on the set, and he plays it. And I didn't then, and I still don't, but I'm playing the concertina, and he's playing the violin, and we're making some nice we're music together. We're a little together. musical duo. Yeah, we have some fun stuff to do. I, I'm, I'm curious about Chekhov. I don't know that I always uh, connect. Um, I think that as I'm getting older, certain things are hitting in a different way. Um, and I had a moment when we did a read through of an earlier version of this translation where emotionally things landed in a very effective place for me, in a very different place. This is for me, this is like a first in so many ways. I've never worked at the Lincoln Center before. Uh, I've never worked with Lila or Heidi before. There's something thrilling about being in a, a brand new space. And, and, and in a way, it's a brand new play. You know, every translation of a, of a classic is different. I'm playing Uncle Vanya, who uh, manages the estate of his family and has been doing so for many, many, many years. I, I'm struck by, and I was from the first time I read this translation, and I hadn't read the play in all these years. It's such a modern play. It's modern without being cute about that, it, but it feels very fresh and very accessible. I've always found Chekhov fascinating, and have, it has a great deal of depth, but I don't always understand what motivates the characters because of the language and the translations, but that's, this, there's a kind of special clarity in uh, Heidi's adaptation and translation that makes it very immediate and recognizable. I have a, fa a favorite Chekhov translator is, who's Paul Schmidt and what I told Heidi was that somehow she gets to the matter without losing the meat so it feels so it feels very streamlined but you don't feel like oh did I just miss something there's still so much I am a huge proponent of live concerts theater I, I kind of think it's the wave of the future frankly because with AI and with everything you're seeing on a screen who knows what's real and what's not. And when you go to see someone perform live, there's no hiding. It's exactly what, you know, it's exactly what you think it's going to be. The thing I feel most in the play, and I'm stealing this from Janet Malcolm, is this deeply felt knowledge that life is given to us only once that we die. Our goal has been to like remove anything that gets in the way of the audience experiencing all of that very viscerally and directly and immediately. Um, and to kind of allow it to feel like it could be living in our time right now 
at this moment today without being cute about it.